Hello and welcome back to the channel. I was absent for a bit of time. That's because I was hosting a workshop on JavaScript and TypeScript here in Gdansk. But I hope I'm back to recording. Uh, and the plan for today is to actually um, make possible to send some files to our backend. And why is that? Why is that our next steps? Well, if you take a look at the um, Epic Game Store UI, where one thing that is obvious is that they have some kind of collections here, right? Like these rows uh, by one or by two or few elements. And inside each of these collections, you have a game. So instead of going, let's say, from top to bottom and first handing the, uh, con uh, the collections, um, resource will first try to go from bottom to top. So first we'll handle uh, the game details somehow. Uh, and then we will use that games to build the collections. And the first thing that we can see here at the top is that there's some metadata about the game. And then there's a crucial part while well, showing us how the game plays or how the game uh, looks like. And we have here trailers or some kind of gameplay videos. And then you have screenshots, right? So definitely to make it work, we'll have to build some kind of way to send this data um, to our backend. And if we just type NetJS uh, file upload, uh, we can see that fortunately, um, this is being handled um, and abstracted away um, from us. And this uh, is using the library called uh, Multer. Okay. So that's what we'll use. Uh, and this is a middleware for handling uh, form data which is primarily used for uploading files and that's great uh, so we'll use just that but we also have to kind of think about um, how we will architecture our information well definitely we need some kind of um, of games controller because we'd like to create games and then maybe we'll create something called media controller that will um, that will handle the operations regarding our media. So um, we have to build the media uh, the game controller first just to base uh, build a basic functionality of creating a game in our API because once we create a game we will receive an ID from the database. And then we can use this ID to associate the uploaded files with the media that we're uploading, meaning for us that will be screenshots or some kind of short gameplays or trailers, okay? So let's get to it. Uh, I'm gonna close all windows, close all, yes. And then going to our backend, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new folder for games and maybe new folder and call it media. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's add a, a terminal here and then uh, we should generate a module, right? And since I don't have all of that in my head, let's search for crude generator. 
or something like this. Generate a module. Okay. NPM GMO. And this is nest. Nest GMO. Uh, let's say media. Uh, okay, we have SFC media module. That great. That's great. The CO that should generate a controller. Okay, great. And we can generate the games module. And generate a controller for games. And that should actually be a new branch part 14 file upload. Okay. Um, that's correct. Is this hooked up already? Games and media. Wonderful. Okay. So now, uh, first things first, we have to handle, let's just change the quotes here. We'll have to handle the creation of a game. Uh, so, uh, in our games controller, I'm going to create post and that's going to be say, under create. Uh, and we will async add uh, game. Uh, and this, well, maybe not add, but create. This will have to accept the DTO. Um, that's rather obvious. So add body will call for um, game data. It's going to be create game DTO. So data transfer object uh, and since we don't have that yet we'll just create one so game dto yes uh, for now we will not create um all metadata here because that's not needed uh, but I'm going to say that we'll have a title here, definitely. And it's going to have a string from Cloud Validator. Uh, and it should be the uppercase and then is not empty. So these two things we have to check. And export default. Uh, create game co okay so that's done we can import that uh, of course um since it's our controller we definitely have to also have a service so basically uh, what we'll have here is return this um games service create game data we don't have that yet, so we'll have to create it and inject it. So let's create the uh, constructor read only game service of type game service. It's empty. Well, obviously, we have to create that, so let's go with that game service.ts. Right. And here again, we will use the uh, repository uh, to connect our database and create um, create a game, table game and games in our um, in our database. So we will mark this injectable, and we'll create games service. Uh, we will have to give it a constructor to inject the repository. So inject repository is here of game. And 
that's another problem because we have to specify the entity here so let's create the entity and just to remind you there's a difference between um, DTO and entity the entity is a representation of our uh, model in database while DTO is basically the structure that the client is sending to a server to create an entity in a data in a database right uh, so let's go with that and this is of course entity uh, class in this game and as i mentioned we're not uh, creating all uh, all of the uh, properties right now i just need something to get the id uh, to use for the text uh, to use for the files that i will be sending we'll figure out how to create the whole metadata structure that we need for our view later on okay we have that done uh we have game service can be now type game because we have the entity uh, and that's a private let's call it game repo repository of type game okay uh, and we also need a free fashion here that will take game data which is of type Game D, create game DTL. Uh, that should be closed. Okay. Now here, there's nothing in here. We're creating a new game based on what we can do with the repository. We save it, or at least we try to. Because remember, you have to save this. Here, this is like created but not committed to the database. And we have the game service and we can export it. Okay. Um, now, Basically, what we have to do is to mark it as a provider in our module. So, uh, oh, yeah, we have to mark it as a provider. But since we're using um, PostgreSQL and TypeRM here, we have to import the TypeRM module here. So, TypeRM module for feature and the entity is game and that's that should set us up um now to import that okay it looks like it's green so um basically let's test this right so let me check our controller it's a post games create okay so let's go to thunder client uh, the app is running on 88 i believe games create and all we need to send in a body uh, is a title so let's try that let's try escape from tarkov and uh, oh yeah we should send a json not a form of course uh so that's correct error let's try escape from tarkov and this is um under client extension in uh, visual studio if you don't know that okay we have that i could probably check this in uh pg admin 2 
but as you can see we get an id and we can reference that id um to uh to associate the files we're sending with given game we, we created okay so let's try that uh, i'm gonna go to a media controller okay yeah, the problem of pjadmin is that it ah uh, yeah it runs really slow uh try that again okay so here we will create um our post method and basically the url should be i think game id media uh, but this is a media controller so maybe just media id game no it doesn't make sense um just id media let's make it game ID. Okay, now it looks like it has sense. Um, okay, and then we have a function. Um, let's call it get uh, or actually upload game media okay makes sense so now we have a param here and the param is well game id uh, should be let me think which should be of type well yeah since we would like to validate that ID, so it should be of type media params and we'll create that type. So, uh, new file media params dot yes, because that, that will be kind of fancy to plus media params uh is string and i'm doing this like that grab it here let's see validate params um can we find it though this is about this is the class validator. Um, this is validation of the body, which we do already. Validate query params. Let's see. Should be somewhere here. But this is about the TO. Oh, yeah, here it is. In addition to validation request bodies, uh, you can also validate uh, params with other request object properties as well. And this is exactly what we are doing. So you can find it in validation sec section. Okay, so that's one part. Um, game ID does not exist, of course. Now it should. Okay, and 
for now we can just console log the game ID. Okay. And now uh this is out have that id so now if we go to media that okay we, we have that id and no response yet but that's not a problem Twenty minutes already. Great. So now to actually uh, get that file, we need um, some kind of um, way to upload it, and we will be using interceptor. Uh, and the file fields in the interceptor. Uh, I believe first thing that we have to do actually is to install the motor. Um, the question is okay, this is built in module, so that's good. Cool. Okay, so let's use interceptor. It's file fields interceptor. Okay. Uh, and it takes upload fields and local options, and we'll use both. And first thing that um, we have to figure out is what files we'd like to upload. And as I'm looking here, I can see a logo, few screenshots and um, trailers uh, we will limit that a little bit but you can change those parameters easily so uh, i will expect a logo and only one logo because we won't be displaying more or needing more trailer and I'm also gonna say that for our tutorial purpose one trailer is enough and then screenshots okay max count uh, let's say four okay this is all looking good and now for the options uh, the most important thing for us, see here, is the storage, which is rather complicated property um, that is describing how and where files should be stored. Okay, and we'll be using disk storage. Uh, but I have to import it from Multer. So let's see. I wonder whether this is installed out of the box. Probably not. Or, or maybe. But is it? So it, it looks like it's compiling, so that's great. And then we have to figure out, it looks like it's lacking the, the type support. So let's add the types. There are a few things we have to uh, add to our storage options. And this is destination and the file name. Okay, so um, what, where will we be storing our files and what will be their name? 
okay and we'll do that in a kind of i hope smart and and um happy way so it's actually this can be request action with request file and callback okay do we have types here yes the request the file and the callback that we have to call and as you can see here this has the uh, the old let's say callback interface from node.js uh, which is well reliable but for me it's kind of outdated since i'd rather work with promises but we'll make it uh, work okay so first things first we will create the um uh the folder in which we will store the files for a given game based on an id so i'm gonna say uh if the it doesn't exist mean if we don't have folder name request uh, and this should be tick instead of uh um what okay we have a request and it should have in its params game id since we specify that it should okay we could actually is not empty like that just to make sure that should be uppercase. Okay. So if we don't have a folder like that, create one. Uh, and this is coming, this is imported from FS Promises, right? Uh, instead of simple FS. I could use probably make or make directory sync or something like that. We have a med media uh, request. Actually, let me just say that's going to be shorter. And I do not like to repeat myself. And game ID. Game ID. Okay, that's good. Now it's good. Okay. Okay, we have that. Now the next thing to check. Um, we have to check for a, a field name because uh, we can read the file field name. Uh, from the multiform and this will inform us in which folder we should store given uh, given media so um, yeah let's say just uh, screenshot folder folder name because basically what I'd like to get is a structure like this screenshots and the other data will be outside of screenshots since we can have four screenshots and the logo and the trailer okay so let's see whether we have to create the um, directory for our screenshots. I'm going to say five field name screenshots folder name and this folder does not exist. So um, media game ID 
screenshots. Okay. Then await make that directory. So we're kind of like um, going deeper and deeper, creating our folders. And we'll create them as we need them. Okay, we have that. And yeah, that's basically, that's our, um, oh no, we have to figure out our destination. So the destination can be um, like at the root or in screenshots. I could um, add a trailer folder and a logo folder, but that would be just more of the same and the code would become a little bit too long for me. So definitely we need to put our asset in that folder. Then there's the question whether we should extend that so if the file field name actually let's create another helper here so is screen shot can grab that and use that here and use that here and if that's screenshot, then we should also append screenshots. And if not, append an empty string. And then we can call our callback. Uh, and that's, that should be here. Okay. So we get the game ID from our request we decide whether given media that we're receiving and uh, processing right now is a screenshot then we create um, a folder for our medias for that given game recognized by a uh, game id um, if it's not existing as existing yet we're creating one then we're checking if given uh, media is a screenshot if so, we're also creating uh, um, the screenshots folder inside of media game ID folder. And then we calculate our destinations, deciding whether this should be a screenshot or not. Okay, uh, there's a little bit more that we have to do. We have to decide on the file name, okay? And, and this is also taking the request, the file, and the callback. And here, uh, what we need is a file name, which is very simple. We just get, we check file field name for screenshot folder name. Okay, and then we will get this as a field name, meaning if it's screenshot, then it's screenshots, right? Uh, or uh, screenshots, or is it, yeah, screenshots, okay. And then uh, we're doing request files screenshots length. And we'll have to ignore that. And I'm going to tell you just now why is that. Okay, probably, yeah, we have to ignore that. Now it's correct, but telling that to our um, compiler would be not because it's alter. Oh, oh Jesus, okay actually have to help him a little bit okay we have to bind ts command and then disable that so we're disabling ts lint and ts um, for that what i would like to 
achieve here is get the name like that. If, if these are screenshots, then it should be screenshot one, screenshot two, screenshot three. Basically, what we are doing here is we're renaming the names of the files to make it consistent. And basically for, for logo, it can be whatever. And for, um, well, it will be a logo since that's the field name, right? And for trailer, that's gonna be a trailer since that's the field name, okay? And that's how we make the name of our files consistent and incremental. And this is incrementing from, the length is incrementing from one to two to three to four because this callback of this storage is called uh, every single time for each file that is processed, right? So when we're processing the first screenshot, the length is one, when we're processing the second, the length is two, and so on and so forth. Uh, then there's a matter of figuring out the extension, okay? And this is gonna be a string, Okay, and this is path parse file original name dot ext. Uh, and we have to bring in the path. So let's import let's path from path. Okay, and then we just have to call our callback with no because errors first and then just do file name and the extension. Okay, so here we have to add uploaded files though we're not gonna use it okay we can now uh, well maybe we can okay uh yeah looking good let's let's try this so um, this is media and we will be sending the form with the files okay uh let's see whether i have some screenshots well it can be like whatever so let's just use something let's go actually to Uh, images and let's save you come on if this can be a screenshot let's create a folder let's save it under under wrong names to see whether our renaming feature is working. And uh, this can be a logo, so I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna mark it as a logo. And that can be another screenshot. Okay, let's try that. And so I'm gonna make it screen shots screen shots. I believe we have three of these and there's a logo. I'm not gonna buy with trailer right now. And let's go screenshot. Oh actually we have four, okay. Then there's a logo, there's a screenshot. Okay, 
Okay, and let's hope that it's not gonna crash. Okay, cannot find FS promises. Um, why is that? Yeah, okay, let's switch the uh, version of the node. And let's try again. Okay, looks like that works. Let's try again. No such file of directory. Um, let's see. And that's right because we'd like to create one. No such file of oh, directory. Oh, that's mm -hmm. that's because we don't have a media folder. That's probably it. Let's cancel the request. That that should help. So we have to remember about that. Oh, well, come on. Let's send it, and there was some internal server error. Okay. Try it again. Not so far. E screenshot screenshots one. E screenshot screenshots one. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. okay. Uh, obviously, that's because of the uh, logic, right? We have to basically wrap that together. And let's try again. Okay, we have the information about the files. Field name, original name, uh, field name, field name, logo, logo. Okay, and let's see into our media. And if I'm gonna open it in an explorer, I'm gonna see that in our media we have the ID of the game, and then there's a logo and our screenshots name one, two, three, four. And that's wonderful. And we'll use it in our future endeavor. So what we created for now is a simple games controller that allows us to create a game entity. And then a media controller that allows us to um, save some files on our server, the files which we will be serving uh, to our client. So that's, that's really great. We also have the proper naming and we're able to specify uh, what type of uh, fields we'd like to um, store, what kinds of files we'd like to upload. So let's tackle uh, this a little bit. Let's say I'd change it from the um, string to number. Let's see whether our, um, whether our media params validator kicks in. And it seems it does, which is kind of sad. Uh, why is that not validating? Uh, let's see. Uh, I must have forgotten something. kind of validation type uh, let's see in our main.ts we have a validation pipe so that should be working
Let's see. Auto validation. Yes. Params. Find one params that should be working. Well, this will never know. So one thing that is missing here and it's kind of problematic is, as you can see, we can send any kind of ID here and we'll save it even if that ID does not exist in our database. But that's something we'll handle in the next episode. So thank you for that. This is how you can upload files in Next.js. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.